So here we are again, and for today we will be doing an unboxing of Shadowrun Runner's Toolbox Alphaware. Uh, this is the second, I can say the second part to getting into Shadowrun according to Catalyst Game Labs, right here. Uh, you can start off with the beginner's toolkit. Is it cool? no? It's a beginner's box. Beginner's box. Shadow Run beginner box. Once you have finished that and you you're you're pretty comfortable with that, you go to this. Uh, we have not done the beginner's box, but I went ahead and got this anyways. Um, from there, from from here. You start doing like regular shadow and stuff, like from the book, like creating, creating missions and getting missions and doing regular stuff for Shadow Run. So uh, this is this is the box. It's kind of heavy. Um, kind of expecting to to have stuff because this is actually a box. The the other box it was kind of something like this that the flap opened like this. This is an actual box. It opens like this. You take this and this whole thing comes off like this. So, here is the back of the box. Just so you can see, this is what the back of the box looks like. This is what we expect to be getting from this. So, right, let me just say, I like the, the, the artwork. I mean, I've always been a fan of the artwork for Shadowrun. They just have such interesting artworks. Like, wow, that's cool. But this one, for one, it's it's new art. They actually have new art for this one. And the while your your eye kind of goes here, I kind of want to point out this girl right here. She she is actually doing like the sniper thing. And I was like, that's pretty cool because like with the, you see the lights, so the light will kind of points to her so this this is what you see first but then there's also hey look there's somebody right here and then there's also I just noticed this just right now uh, oh hey look there's here's here's a dude right here so here's here's a dude right here and then back here somewhere right here there's a little dragon there's a little dragon guy that he I guess he just got summoned or something so this is like a, an actual run that you that you could possibly be doing. And I was just I was just very taken aback by this. This is a a, a very well drawn out. Oh hey, there's another dude. I mean, if you look, if pay attention to actually the actual artwork, you see different things, and it's like wow, you know, this is this is pretty neat. So, but uh, enough with the artwork. Let's go ahead and start opening stuff. Huh? Knife. Everybody knows about the knife. You've seen enough of these film, these videos, you know about the knife. If you want to know more about the knife, let's say this is your first time watching, watch some of the other videos. I often talk about the knife. Because I think that the, uh, the knife is a very integral part of this now. Right here. Yeah, you could probably use scissors, but I like my knife. Hey, ooh, ooh, that smells pretty good. I, I, that's a that's a good smell right there. I, I like the, I like this, the 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 smell of a, new, of a new open newly opened game. So here's the uh, the open. So it's the box. The top is off. And here. This is what you get. Man, that smells awesome. This, this is what you get. One thing is, <laughs> if you've seen the other videos, you, you saw that I kind of had a, a fit because I, this was upside down. So this was up right side up, so there'll be no fit today. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so here's this, the catalog. Comes with all of them. Here's the, uh, the book. Came with the, uh, comes in a lot of the packaging that uh let's see what was it the beginner's box 
the Crossfire game, I think they both have this. This is pretty much the uh, a little short, but this is an excerpt of the novel. So this is, that's the novel. This is the novel, this is a short excerpt. So if you want to read it, quickly read through this a little quick. So you see, so you kind of kind of uh, uh, see what's going on with the book and be like, hey, you know what, that's a pretty good book. I think I'm going to go uh, check that out. I'm going to go buy the book. So go buy a Frostfire. And then you have this. This is another thing that comes with the uh, the other two boxes that I mentioned: the uh, beginner's box and the crossfire. So you get this. Uh, what I'm kind of hiding underneath here is my code because this is my code. When you buy these, you get codes for the the, the different weapons for Shadowrun Online whenever it comes out. Um. So yeah. Continuing, continuing forward. So the uh, here's this. I have yet to read this yet, but it says, "Welcome to the shadows, Chummer. Before you go any further, read this. The beginner's box comes with this, so I still have to read this. I think I will read this, maybe, but later." And then, poster. I like posters. I'm sure they're cool. Don't you like posters? I like posters. Oh man, it's a map. You know what we do with maps. Maps is something that we study. We study maps. And this map, I, I'm kind of kind of show you because this is I, 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 I like maps. This is the United States, Mexico, Canada, and the Caribbean, and the Shadow One World. So it's pretty neat. So just so you can see what I'm looking at here, this is the uh, the, the the map of the of North America, I guess you could say. It's, it is uh, United States, Canada, and Mexico, and that's pretty much North America right there, and then just added bonus for uh, the Caribbean, so here's that. And then on the other side, remember the, the, uh, the picture we were just talking about, I spent two minutes uh, discussing and talking about how the color and the uh, direction of flow, of the eye flow, you know, now, now we get the, uh, a bigger picture. So this is this is pretty cool. You know, I think I might, I might have to get two boxes so that I can have both both posters because I mean they they're both neat. This is this is cool artwork right here. This is very cool. But then I mean this is the map. And you, we kind of need the map when you're when you're doing stuff, right? I don't know, do you? I don't, I don't know. So uh, yeah, that's. That's it. Here is, let's see, what is this? Stuff. Closest thing I can say is stuff. I'm guessing this is the character sheet whenever you go to play the games. If you notice, it's. It looks like you could actually write like new uh, dry erase. But it looks like each one because here we have Koi Dog, Elf Street Samurai. Put it up there. You can kind of you're kind of bleeding through, but trust me, it says there. And then we have Gentry Human Decker. So there is that. If you notice, there, there's a lot of stuff here. So I'm not quite sure. Like I said, I, I've only read the. I've read the book, the the core book. I think I took an hour to just kind of read the the beginning, like the the very front of the book. Um, I don't really remember too much. 
I know there there was a lot of stuff, a lot of information in there. I was like, wow, that is a lot of information. I think I got halfway through the book and I was like, ooh, time to get off the bus or the train. So, uh, hard point dwarf rigger. Where is that? Miss Myth troll face. Where is that? Can't wait to see you know all this. What all this means? I mean, this is there's a lot of information here. So this would be interesting to to see what all this all this is. Street samurai orc sledge. And here we have Game Master Characters Reference. So here's that. And on the back it says Game Master Screen. So there's that. I'll be very interested to see what all how you read all this. Yeah, to, tomorrow when I get get on the train, I hope to uh, actually start reading some of this stuff, so I understand what all this stuff is. Um, here, ooh, maps. Wow, maps. The, this is a map of a low-income tenement complex, but you know this is. It says right here that I'm guessing an inch is 10 meters. So you do a lot of you're going through a lot of uh, rooms here, and I don't, I don't think you're going to be using minis for this. I think this is more of a with a dry erase marker. Be like, okay, point here, point here, do this, do that, and there there are numbers. There's a two and four. So I'm guessing they're, they're specific to uh, some mission that you're doing. Here is a train station. Oh, there's actually trains on here too. Is there? Yeah, there's the same thing on back. Oh, yeah, and there's two sides. Both the same thing. This one actually has writing and numbers. This one does not. Makes you wonder about that. So here's this. What is this? This is something. And it's something else. And this one actually has like streets and avenues. So it's this is what's it say up here? Uh, Scott Avenue, Stevenson Street, Taylor Street, Finley Boulevard. So there's that. Guessing this is where all the weight and the weight is. Abandoned gas station. So right here is there's a it says that this is an abandoned gas station. This this up here is the scrap metal pile. There's an empty lot. These are junk uh, down here. Junk cars down here. Converted storage building. Right here, converted storage building. Dumpster fort up here. And then up here is abandoned gas station. So this will be interesting. Uh, let's see. Gambling den. Look at that. The gambling den. And I like how they put the uh, the actual there's, there's cameras here these little things with the uh, the, the white ones these little white things with the uh, green things I'm guessing those are cameras so they are watching you do not try to cheat they know that you are cheating and they will take you out probably uh, probably literally and figuratively Yeah, that's cool. 
Here we have a luxury hotel. Ooh. Ooh. See, one. Lobby. Oh, God. Okay. So this is the inside. Inside of a hotel. Oh, not just hotel. A luxury hotel. Down street. Right here we have... See what's it say? Mike's Pawn Shop right here. Guess Coney Lore Store right here. Docks Doc Boyle's Street Clinic down here. Equilibrium Equilibrium Nightclub. Big nightclub. Ooh. See what else we got here. Corporate research facility. Uh, things are starting to get real here. Even got a basement and a sub basement. Even got the uh, the cameras on here too. There's cameras all in here. And uh, good looking there. Hope you survive. Here we have Dockside Warehouse Logistics Center. Well, this could be either uh, combat or uh, information. I'm guessing the other one, the other one is probably more combat than information. A corporate research facility. Yeah, I think that's one. Now we have oh the dossiers for the other ones. Because in the, uh, the 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 open beginners box, the Shadowrun beginners box, you get the uh, it's it's kind of like this. It's the dossier for uh, Miss Smith, I think it is the the, the troll girl, and now you have the ones for Koi Dog, right? Yeah, Koi Dog, and these are pretty much how to play the characters. So we had because these are just these are all pre-made characters. So uh, these tell you who, who these people are, what they like, what they don't like, how they how they would act in certain situations. Um, let's see, the answers are here. Things she'll do, things she won't do. Favorite media, loyalties, favorite downtime activities, right here. Little, uh, so, some backstory right here. Here's, here's, some, here's some backstory right here. So here, here's the, uh, the one for Koi Dog. This is the one for Sledge. Just gonna take a peek. Things he does, things he doesn't do. Then we have Gentry, a human decker. And then Hardpoint, the uh, dwarf decker, right? No, Raker. He's a decker, he's a Raker. The difference between our deck and a rigger. Um, come back in a month, I'll let you know. Then here we have, yeah, this is the what these, uh, I think it's called the sixth, the sixth world. So, this is this is everything that you, you need to know about living in the sixth world. So the edge of now. Uh, let's see, what is this? Ah. This is for me only. See, it says right here. Game Masters only. So, uh, if you're, if you're the Game Master, look through it. If you're not, I will do this off camera so that nobody can see. I'm interested to see. Oh, look at that. Uh, Halloweeners. Oh, look, here's the uh, research center. The gambling den. 
grunts and moving targets. Going inside. Stepping up. Adventures. So yeah, here's this. This kind of tell you yeah, tell you how to or to run the whole thing. So you can run an actual game with the after you've done the other one, you do this one and then you continue forward. And let's see here we have. Well, this let me show you first. Rules of the street. And this is. I don't know. I mean, it's a rural street. I mean, yeah, and that's. Just so you know, the, the Shadow Runner is. You might say he's a down on the luck person, that he's always doing missions on the black market. Never quite know where the uh, the next paycheck is going to come from. Supposedly the the really good the shadow runners make really good money, but supposedly all it takes is one bad run and then you're you're done. Either physically or financially. So yeah, there's there's this. I'll be reading through this, and we got more dice. The uh, beginner's box comes with blue, this one comes with red, so, but I got my own. Not that these aren't bad, but mine are mine. They're not, I like mine because they're mine. And then we got this. Cards! Yay, cards! So now we got something else to uh, open up. So chaotic world chaos. It says spells. Haha! Yeah, we do it. If I just keep turning it, it's not very uh, strong plastic, so all you have to do is just keep pulling and pulling and pulling, and it comes out. So, what is this? These are spells. Spells, spells. Here's chaos and chaotic, lightning bolt, ball of lightning. So, here's I mean, you saw that one, so here's the next one. Lightning bowl, ball lightning, knockout, stone bolt. Ooh, death touch. Death touch and mana bolt. And mana ball. Uh, magic fingers, influence, heal, invisibility, mask, levitate. Physical mask. Change your appearance so you're fooling cameras and electronic devices, not just other people. Cool. That'd be good for all the uh, cameras that we saw in all those different places, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, weapons. Spendable baton. Kind of looks like Chuck Norris. I mean, uh, Bruce Lee. But a very orcish Bruce Lee, though, yeah. Sword. Stun baton. Coat American L36. Aries Alpha. Ingram Valiant. 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 Ingram Ingram Valiant. I can't read. Aries Predator 5. They are also did a uh, a video where I got some some cards like this for a thing called a uh, running gun. I think it's, uh, it was the name of it. And this just kind of like this guns and it was guns, armors, weapons, ammo, stuff like that. Ooh, a laser sight. So I guess when you add this to the other set, the other two things. Got a, a nice little assortment of cards that you can use. Silencer. 
smart gun system, external. Armor clothing. Urban Explorer jumpsuit. Guess this would also explain some of the uh, weight. Let's see if there's anything. I'm just kind of curious to see if there's anything. Else. No. That's one over here, and this one there. Okay, so this is this is the last one. Armor jacket. Line coat. Armor vest. Rinraku Sensei. I'm guessing this is one of the uh, the deckers, the, the decking units. Comlinks. Yeah, it says right there, Comlinks. If I should just actually read the uh, the cards. Uh, what's that say? Transis Avalon. Transis Avalon. And here's the the cyber decks. Rinraku Tsurugi. Where's that? Survival Kit. Trauma Pack. Stim Pack rating 1 through 6. Med Kit rating 1 through 6. MCT Nissan Roto Drone. Suzuki Mirage. Yeah, you can tell these are vehicles and drones. If you didn't already figure this out. GMC Bulldog. Wow, look at that thing. Here we have a Simuvani Crisscross Otter. It's a boat. Just three word three large words to say it's a boat. MCT Fly Spy. Ooh. Guessing you take that and go or go around. Ooh, hey, look at this. We can spot you. Ha ha. Ooh, here's some programs for the uh, the different drones. Browse. Cuts the time for max search action in half. Biofeedback filter. Oh, okay. So you don't get the the biofeedback. Decryption. Plus one bonus to your, to your attack attributes. Encryption. Plus one bonus to firewall attributes. Hammer. Whenever you cause matrix damage with an action, this offensive program <laughs> lets you infect Inflict plus one DB worth of matrix damage. Defuse plus four dice pool modifier to resist damage from a data bomb. It's pretty cool. Baby monitor tells you your Overwatch score whenever it is running. A baby monitor. That's funny. Exploit. Plus two bonus to your sleaze attributes when attempting a hack on the fly action. Track. Plus two to data processing attributes when using when making tracer trace user tests. Whatever all that means. Sneak. Plus two dice pool modifier to defend against trace user action. Oh. Wolf. Along the, the, the tracks. Because then, right here you're making tracks. And then you have the wolf that's blowing the tracks away. The wolf is good. Plus stealth. This is, you know, this is also a program. Cyberware. Cyber Allies. Plus one, rating one with flare complexion, image link, low light vision, thermographic vision. Here's this. Here's rating a uh, rating three Cyber Eyes. 
Rating 1 Cyber Ears. Rating 3 Cyber Ears. And then Wired Reflexes. Rating 1. So that's pretty much everything that's that comes in. Yes. The Shadowrun Runner's Toolkit Alphaware. Quite a bit. It's a lot of stuff. A lot of cool stuff. And I uh, can't wait to start reading some of this stuff. It, like, it actually looks cool. I'm, I'm rather excited. So I uh, guess I'll uh, see you guys next time. Adiós.